Merry Christmas. My name is Kristen and I'm with Decorators Warehouse. Today I'm here to teach you our simple four step process to decorate a beautiful designer tree in your very own home. And it's so simple that anyone can do it. Everything is bigger in Texas. And as you can see, we like a lot of decor on our trees. Now we realize that everybody has different styles and preferences. Um, the techniques and ideas that are presented here today are meant to be a starting point for you. If you don't like as much decor on your tree, feel free to take these techniques and scale them back to meet your individual needs. The four steps that we're gonna be learning today are gonna be one, the tree topper, Two, we're gonna move into the ribbon. Three, we're gonna be learning about how to bundle florals to get the biggest impact on your tree. And four, we'll go into the ornaments. With that said, let's jump right in. The first step in our four step process is creating a tree topper. And basically what this does is it provides polish to your tree. Um, you can definitely use stars and angels, but today we're going to be working with individual stems. And we're actually going to be using the four stems that you'll see later on in the video for our floral cluster. Um, we have a couple taller pieces. You always want to look for height when choosing pieces for your topper, as well as um, we're going to use a couple florals. And basically this is going to provide a transition into the body of the tree. All right, we are going to start with the bulkiest piece, the biggest one. So we're gonna use this iced branch and we are gonna run this straight down along the top. It's gonna to basically run up along the pole. And on your first spray or two, you might actually wanna use some of the greenery, the PVC to tie it in place so that it doesn't move. So I'm just gonna come down a little bit then I'm gonna come in with my second stem. Um, notice that we have a couple different textures going on. Um, I'd like to do that, bring in different textures so that it gives it a lot more interest. So we're gonna run this one down along the pole as well, bringing some of the, the iced spray forward. And then we're gonna place our two florals at the base. And for this part, you might wanna angle the head um, up just a little bit. And notice as I place my flowers, I'm gonna be very careful to not go in a line, um, but I'm gonna have them at varying heights. For this particular tree, this is a nine foot tree. I'm gonna use three of my floral clusters. Um, if you have a smaller tree, like a six to seven and a half foot, you're gonna use two. And then for a larger tree, like a 12 foot, you're gonna use four of your floral clusters. So I'm gonna go ahead and replicate what I did here along this side and then on the back as well. The next step of our four step process is the ribbon. And we're gonna use three ribbons today, um, all of which are wired. I have two four inch ribbons that I'm gonna layer, a nice birch with a solid uh, linen on the backside. And then I have this fun brown herringbone that's gonna be our accent ribbon. And we're actually gonna come in the very last thing that we do um, and add a few little bows and tails with our accent ribbon. So for now, I'm just gonna set that aside. And we're gonna go ahead and add the ribbon into the tree. I'm gonna cut the ribbon as I go. That allows me to maintain control. And we're gonna be working in series of two loop runs. So cutting after every two loops. Now, sometimes we're gonna get wild and we're gonna add in a little tiny loop as well, but we're not gonna count that as one of the main two loops. All right, so I'm gonna start close to my base of my topper. Um, this is gonna create that transition into the body of the tree. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start by making a tail and a simple little two loop bow. So I'm folding it, I twisted it, I'm folding it again, and then I'm gonna twist so that the top side of the ribbon is showing. I'm gonna bring my ribbon down. 
um, about 18 to 24 inches, making a loop. And I'm gonna secure it with a branch of the greenery of the tree itself. And I'm gonna pull that out so it's not real tight. We don't want it to do this, but rather flow outward. And now I'm gonna create a second loop in the opposite direction. Okay, and I'm gonna continue that process. Um, we're gonna cascade through the tree working organically um, in smaller sections. So since I'm here, I'm gonna come kind of in this area and go on with my second loop. So I'm basically working in two bigger loops on every run, but I'm gonna go, go ahead and show you how you can add in a, like a third little decorative loop, um, kind of using a, the same process. So since I'm there and here, I'm gonna start this way. I'm gonna do a loop and I'm gonna secure it. And then I'm gonna add in another loop right on top. You don't have to do this, of course, um, but just a fun way to add some more detail. And then continue to come down, leaving a tail. Now I'm gonna continue this process around all of the tree. Now I've kind of cascaded most of my ribbon through the tree. Um, I don't have any spaces for any more big runs, but I do have some spaces and I do have some ribbon left. So I'm actually gonna come in and do one of two things in these spaces. I'm gonna make a simple two loop bow, or if you don't feel comfortable or you don't have a ton of ribbon left, um, you can just make what I call a bow tie and you just pinch this in the middle. It's two ribbons layered on top and secure it with a branch and you can leave a little fishtail detail on the side. So since I have a pretty big area in here, I'm gonna do a two loop bow in this section. So I'm gonna pinch and leave a tail. Twist it. And create a second loop. Then I'm gonna twist it again because I want the top side facing up. Now I'm gonna come in with one of the bow ties that I just mentioned. I have some space at the bottom. And I'm just gonna go around with the ribbon that I have left, filling in any holes with two loop bows or bow ties. We're gonna jump into step three of our four step process, which is the florals and sprays. Earlier I mentioned floral clusters. This is a technique that we love to use at Decorators Warehouse. So what we're doing is we're putting stems together. These take up big areas of your tree and really give you that designer impact. So to begin, I'm gonna use the two sprays, the same ones that were in the topper, and I am going to lay them together spine against spine. And then I'm gonna kind of pull the different um, foliages different ways, some forward and some back. And then I'm gonna come in with two florals and lay them on top. And one's gonna be kind of down and one's gonna be more up. I've got the heads angled in different directions. Okay, and once I have them the way that I like them, I'm actually gonna attach these together using the stem. So I'm gonna take one of the stems, holding everything together, 
and I'm going to wrap it around all of them. This is great too for next year when I take these out of storage, everything's already put together for me. All right, so there it is. And because these stems are so long and my tree's not huge, I'm actually gonna fold this in half so that it doesn't stick out the other side. On this layer of decorating, I'm gonna include my clusters. My nine foot tree, kind of a good rule of thumb is one per foot in the body of your tree. So if you have a seven and a half foot tree, seven clusters is a great way to, to go. If you have a nine foot tree like this one, I'm gonna use nine in the body. Um, now, if my tree is really full, I might even increase that to 10 to 12. And then on a 12 foot tree, anywhere from 12 to 18 in the body of your tree. Now, in addition to my cluster, I'm also gonna use one single stem flower that's just gonna be placed by itself and two single stem sprays. So I have one with different greenery and this fun pick with the antlers that I love in the pine cones. But I'm gonna start with my clusters. When placing my clusters, I'm gonna start near the top of my tree and I'm gonna come at a zigzag pattern down the front of the tree. So if I have one here, my next one might go in this area and then one closer to the base, working all the way around. To place the cluster, I'm gonna run the stems along the branch, pushing it in quite a bit, and I do want my sprays to cascade down. Okay, and I am gonna use some of the greenery to wrap around the stems to hold it in place. Now that all my floral clusters are placed, I'm gonna go ahead and come in with my single stem flowers. And I am going to basically zigzag them through in the opposite direction now. So since I have a cluster here, I'm gonna put a floral here, here, and so on, working all the way around the tree. The last part of this layer is gonna be our single stem sprays. And basically these are gonna go anywhere where you have space left in your tree. It's just gonna be a filler. The fourth step of our four step process is the ornaments. And we're gonna use a combination of balls and some more specialty ornaments. We're gonna start with the biggest pieces first. The larger balls, similar to this, they're gonna be tucked in deeper into the tree um, to fill holes while our more specialized ornaments like these and some of the glass ornaments are gonna be displayed on the outside of the branches. So I'm gonna start with these first since they're big. Um, on this nine foot tree, I'm adding in three sets of these bells. And I'm gonna kind of go in this area since I already have a hole there. The balls that I'm using for this tree are a mix of different sizes and textures. They're generally on the bigger side because um, like I said, these are gonna go deep into the tree. So now I'm gonna come in with the more specialized ones. And for this tree, we've chosen three. And so what I'm gonna do with the specialized ones we want these to be on the outer branches of the tree. So in order to do that, um, rather than just placing it and letting it hang, I'm actually gonna put my thumb on the branch over the string, and I'm gonna twist it around so that the ornament hangs very close to the branch. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me control over where that ornament sits. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place the remainder of my specialty ornaments.
Earlier when we discussed ribbon, we held on to one accent ribbon. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in the very, very last thing um, and fill in wherever we have any green space showing. There's a couple different things we can do. Earlier we learned about the simple technique that made the bow tie. So it's basically a tail on either side with a fish tail. And we can also make one loop bows. So just a pinch and then you have a tail on each side or we can use a combination of the two loop bow that we learned earlier as well. So just going through, I'm gonna look for some spots with green. I'm gonna tie these in using the branches. And because the ribbon is wired, we can put that nice little decorative detail. Well, that wraps us up for today. We hope that you found this four-step process to be helpful. Um, just to recap what we learned today, step one was our tree topper. Step two, we went into our ribbon. Step three was our florals, and we learned how to cluster our florals. And step four was our ornaments. Um, if you loved everything that you saw today um, represented in this tree, you can actually go to decoratorswarehouse.com and you can purchase the whole woodland tree bundle. Now this video was shot in 2020, so if you're watching it in subsequent years, there is a possibility that we may no longer have the products. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and happy decorating.